Hey, welcome to the January Auction House. How's everyone doing tonight? Hopefully everyone's well. Okay. Let's see who's in the chat so far. Lots of chatting. Mike Kretzer's here. Yo, yo, yo. Bear Flag's got the jokes tonight. <laughs> What's up, Bear Flag? Dennis Dew in the house. What's up, Dennis Dew? Bruce Mines. Hey, hey, hey. Good to see everybody here on the new channel. Back by Silver. Whoop. Back by Silver's here. What's going on? Vintage Memories. Hi, Vintage Memories. Summer, oops, summers. Hey, hey, hey. Let me somebody, Jacob Michael. What's shaking? Yay! Looks like we got all the all the friends here tonight. Wonder if we'll have lurkers here yet. No, we have, we have one thumbs down. Like I have one night. thumbs down already. Every night. That That's all right. I think somebody comes in. Like, We're always gonna have the haters, but I don't know if we'll have lurkers. Why do you say hello to everyone? Oh, it's just nice to say hello, hello. Oh, okay. Hello, hello. <laughs> um, move those things off the table. Thank you. And you can say hello. <laughs> right. It's probably a troll, Vincent Memories. You're right. Diamond West is here. What's up, Diamond West? Unnamed Helper is here tonight. Let's see. Unnamed Helper. Hi. Unnamed Helper, got new nails tonight. Ooh. Hey, Johnny Ravers here. What's up, Johnny? Made it. John Ravers having a state sale this weekend at his warehouse. A lot of good stuff over there, a lot of good furniture. Some other stuff I saw in those pictures, some good pictures. If this memory says your nails are very nice, Helper. Mm. I'll be over there Thursday at some point in the morning filming for content on the other channel. I'll be buying stuff, I'm sure. Can we call her the Fabulous Helper? Sure. Fabulous <laughs> Helper. Mm -hmm. Craig Wolf is here. What's up, Craig Wolf? Oh, you know what? I should do it here. Let's, uh, Let's make good use of our time. Oh, wait a second. Am I not on? Uh, hold on a second. I gotta change this over here. I'm on the old channel. We need to be on the new channel. We can give out some wrenches. Switch. Because I'm gonna need some moderators, don't you think? Oh, I gotta sign in. I never signed in on the iPad here. Hang on. Good thing I went on a little early. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Hopefully everyone had a good day. And is having a good night. Dot com. Dot com. Dennis do. I like tools. Okay. I have some tools. I saw some in a box today, but I didn't get a chance to look at them too closely. I didn't think I saw anything like crazy. Um, whoops. Yay. We're in. All right. Let's see my channel here. But I'll find. I'll try to find some for uh, Sunday's auction with Johnny. All right. Here we go. Johnny Meyer. 
Cat Cat's here. Hi, Cat Cat. Mm -hmm. Who the heck else is here? Silver. You get a wrench and you get a wrench. Mm -hmm. Black flag. Diamond West. I think I added Wolf. Didn't I? I don't know. My question. Yeah. Oh, that's I got him. Okay. Dennis, dude, did you get that? Yep, I got Dennis, too. All right, I added a bunch of moderators to this channel already. There we go. You went to Walmart and spent 1300 bucks, Dennis? Whoa. You probably get a bunch of stuff. Uh-oh, Mike Kretzer, Summers didn't get an invoice yet. Oh, no. No, oh, Bruce Mize doesn't want a wrench. <laughs> I didn't get you. I didn't give you one, Bruce. On junk, he said. Vintage memories. How did I miss you there? How dare you? Bruce Mize, no wrench. All right, you can. You don't have to have a wrench. Bruce. DVDs. Okay. Johnny, did we get Johnny? No, we got Johnny. Okay. All right. Do, 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 Let me take this off in here. Do you have to explain the rules? Yep, we'll have to go over the rules again real quick. Can I try to explain the rules and then you can finish? <laughs> no. <laughs> Johnny, you got Johnny. Okay. My cuts are... Okay. All right. Well, we need to be on live chat. There we go. Okay, we're good. All right. All right. Hopefully, uh, everyone makes it over from the other channel. I made two videos today. Two videos. One for the other channel, one for this channel. I think I have like 40 subs uh, already on this channel, so that's good. Yes, back by silver. It would be wrong. To immediately misuse it. Okay, gloves for Wednesday. All right, cool. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Eight thirty-five. Go over the rules quick. Thanks to everyone who stopped by. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the new channel. It looks a lot like the old channel, but it's new. <laughs> it's really the same thing. So I just wanted to separate out the auction stuff from the pre-recorded content. And uh, that's why we created this channel. It helps with the YouTube algorithm for the other channel, really, uh, more than this channel. Uh, but it'll, it eventually will help with this channel as well. So here we are. Tell your friends. Spread the word. And uh, Sunday Night with John will be on this channel. But I'll, I'll do previews on both channels for for Sunday night as well, just so we don't miss anybody. Um, if you're brand new to the auction, welcome. And you need to register first, so make sure you're on live chat up here in the chat, not top chat. And then in the first comment, there is a link to the registration form. Fill out that form so you can bid. Cali reseller Luis is here. Uh, it takes two minutes. It's pretty easy. So fill out that form. And when you win an item, you can pay with PayPal, Venmo, or Cash App. Venmo and Cash App addresses are scrolling across the bottom of your screen there. PayPal, there's a link in the description. Please click on that link to pay via PayPal. It goes right to my account. Free shipping in the U.S. And if you're outside the U.S., uh, we can look at um, shipping options. I'll just pass along whatever they charge me. Did I give John your number? Yes. And your email. So he should be contacting you shortly. Uh, we bid in $2 increments, $2 increments, please. And when you're in a bid and you want to be out, please type out in the chat so we know we can move on to the next item. If you ever need to get a hold of me, you can reach me here on YouTube or reach out to me on Facebook or Instagram and I will get back to you. Ed Champion's here. Cali Reseller Luis has an auction tonight after mine at 10 o'clock Eastern. 
Callie, let me make you a moderator while I'm doing that. Um, drop your link, uh, Callie, when you get a minute to your auction tonight. All right, first up, Fabulous Helper. Yeah, um, Dennis, Johnny's getting ready for that estate sale, so I'm sure he's super busy. I got this lot of um, older metal pencil sharpeners. They're pretty cool. There's a lot of three of them. Are we going to try them? I mean, you can if you want. Do you know where the pencils are? <laughs> uh, I'm going to start the bid at... Uh, I'll start the bid at 10 bucks. What do you think? Ten dollars. All right, no, it's okay. They know what it's. It's a pencil sharpener. Yeah, but it's okay, hold it up to the camera. <laughs> so this is like a kind of a grinder wheel. There, does the side spin? Oh yeah, there you go. There you go. That must be the sharpener part. There you go. And look at the bottom of it. Yep. Show them the bottom. There's the blade. Yeah. Okay, Bruce, thanks for stopping by. Oh, Mike Kretzer's in at $10 already. Okay. Hope everything's all right out there. And then this is an, a phone, a vintage phone, right? It looks like, yeah. yeah, it's like an oldie phone. Yeah. And it's got like the little dial thing at the bottom there. See the circle? Yep. Oh, yeah. Hold it right there. Hold it steady. Yeah, look at that. And then it's got the pencil sharpener. Oh. Show, can you see the light, like how it's not, like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh, that's where you put the pencil in there. Yeah. Yep. And then the one with the circle on top. Okay. I think this is a press of some kind, right? There's a It's like a press. Mm -hmm. Like a, maybe a juice press or some kind of, like you spin it and then the stuff will come out the slide shoot there yeah yeah somewhere in there is the blade oh, right here. oh there wait hold on it's in there it's in that juicer thing yeah <laughs> all right so pretty cool lot three uh I, i'm sure they're older i don't know i don't know if they're vintage but they're older metal pencil sharpener one's a phone one's a grinder and one's a press thing we got ten dollars to Mike Kretzer. See if there's any other interest out there. Hope everyone's doing well. Maybe you can bring them down a little closer to the camera. Yeah, or maybe hold them up. Hold them up. I would say I'll just say going once. Try to get some action here hopefully there's not too much lag i don't think there is it doesn't look like there's that much i'm taking a bunch of notes and seeing how everyone's doing up here all right going once to mike kretzer three um i don't know older pencil sharpeners a phone there on the left in the back is like a press and on the right is like a grinder Wow, late 70s. Yeah, I mean, it looks like they have aged. There's no years on them. I mean, I'm assuming they're vintage. I got them at the live auction in a box lot with a bunch of other older stuff, so I can't imagine it's new. And they're metal, like die cast, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. I would assume, something like that. You can hear them clanging on each other. What? <laughs> What, what is this for? I think that's like where you put the, like, I think it's an old coffee grinder, maybe. Yeah, well, I think that's where the shavings come out. Oh, there's a line. Oh, yeah, it was, it was like the grinder had like a, I don't know. Yeah, um, yeah. Maybe so you can't stick your little finger in there and slice it off. The sharpener. There's stuff in this one. Like pencil sharpening? Yeah, I don't know. All right. That means it works. Okay. Well. Okay. All right. Final call. Mike Kretzer, $10. Three. I'll say vintage pencil sharpeners. 
Good condition, no issues, right? Mm -hmm. No, no, everything looks to be working. Mm -hmm. Because this thing doesn't close over there. So that's a problem for you. Show it up close. It probably, it might just not be seated right there. Okay. And then this one has stuff in it, but I don't know if that means it's working. Yeah, I don't know if Beautiful nail, Summer said. All right, Minecraft for ten dollars. If there's no other interest, we're gonna sell it. Sold, sold, sold. Ten dollars, Minecrafter. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For those of you that don't know, when you win an item, I put your name into the spinning wheel, and at the end of the night, I will draw one name. And if you're still here in the chat, when I pick your name. I'll add a mystery prize to your purchase. So, Mike, stick around. And anyone else that wins something, stick around till the end. All right. All right. Fabulous Helper gets to pick the next lot here. And she has chosen a lot of vintage tins. Four. Four vintage tins, to be exact. Right. <clears throat> That, the the rigged wheel is on the other channel. This we fixed it. It's it's good to go for this channel. There was no rigged wheel. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'll start to bid at twelve on this one. There's a cool Sucrets one in there. It's probably I I didn't look them up, but I'm sure the Sucrets one's probably a couple bucks at least. Okay, so we got four vintage tins. Now you got to hold them still and show the advertising. Okay. Which side? Boy, you're gonna do both eventually, so it's okay to pick one here. So now here we got. Menthol, licorice, eucalyptol, I think that's a fake word, peppermint, anise, pellets for minor throat irritations. The other side? Yeah, but turn. Watch, don't watch this thing. See, see that? Yeah. See that? You want to do it? No, no. Mm -hmm. Just watch that. And then this side, hold still, says active ingredients, menthol, licorice, eucalyptol, peppermint, anise, helps cool and soothe the throat. Ten cents it was. Oh, okay. It says how about here. how about the sides? Show the sides. It says uh, hold on. Like, can you tilt it up or down? It's not the light is bad. Yeah. Like, take it down to where the light is. There you go. And I'll do the chat. There we go. Licorice helps on the side there. It's got the hinge. And what's on the side? Licorice, Licorice helps. helps. Yeah. Oh, it's in pretty good shape, actually. There's a little, there's a little smudge there. Right there. Oh, coughs. Due to cold. Due to cold. All right. And what's inside? Oh. Writing inside helps relieve tickling in the throat mm -hmm. and are very comforting. Oh. What the heck is this? I mean, rations, 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 ration. I don't, I can't talk today. Ration stamps. All right, you get a couple of these rations, ration stamps. A G1, I think it's bingo. What were you rationing off back in the day? G1, M8, 5 <laughs> Five two. <laughs> oh, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> look it, look it. It's like this, this is the stamp that never ends. <laughs> it goes on. Oh, there's a U. There's a, a w. w and an L. Holy mackerel, an L. What the heck is all this for? Dad, everyone's saying that um, Ed Champion does have a wrench. Should okay, I make well, him a tell mod? Him I'm in the middle of an auction, and I will get to it in a minute. I can make him a mod. All right. No, you can't. Don't mess around with that. Don't mess around with that. Okay. He'll, he'll be okay. He'll be all right. He'll be okay. It'll, it'll be all right, guys. It'll be all right, Ed. Russian stamps there. That's that one. I got this cool Sucrets one. Sucrets? 24 Sucrets antiseptic throat lozenges. Tested for germicidal activity, sharp and dome, dom, 
Philadelphia. A little wear on the sides here. On the back. And on the back, there's your standardized and a septic. Nothing inside, but the inside is pretty good condition. That's the Secret one. Secret. Secret. And I got some more of these Schrader valve stem or valve, valve inserts. Stem. Valve Schrader valve inserts. And there's something in there, but I'm not. I'm not going to open it because last time I opened it, I couldn't get it really back on. <laughs> it a while. Oh, here you go. I'll slide a little bit. Now yeah, I'll be careful. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, oh, okay. See? Well, it's got like a little, a little spot there. To, it looks like there's two in there, maybe. Mm, they do. Okay. And then I've got another one, but it looks like the advertising is a little different on this one. Crater valve. Oh, these are cores. Crater valve cores. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know how to open this one. I think it slides you like the other one, but it's not sliding. All right, so that one's not sliding. So we got two valve cores, or sorry, two traders. One is valve inserts, one is valve cores. We got this cool secrets box. We got menthol, licorice, eucalyptol, helps, throat lozenges. It's, uh, it's like 10 cents. National Licorice Company, Brooklyn, New York, Philadelphia. PA in Moline, Illinois. Christina cool. says that the ration stamps were alphabetical for particular types of items. Oh, okay. Well, you got all types of stuff. Seems complicated. Maybe it wasn't. There's M's, there's L's. No, there's one L, one W, one U, one G, and two U. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that if that if they're worth anything or not. They were in that one. Ten. All right, let's sit over here. Let me sit it was vintage memories and Bruce, but then vintage memories is outside again. Oh, ah, okay, cool. Yeah. All right, vintage memories is out. Thank you very much for letting me know. So uh, let's find Ed, make him a mod. There we go, Ed. You're the moderator now. All right, 14 to Bruce Mice. Looking for 16 or more. When um somebody gets it, should I put the same stuff in the tank? Yeah. Where's it in the little one? It was in the little guy. The, yeah. Uh, stuff, 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 stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay. Tins. And we get 12. We get four. It, it we're at 14. 14. We're looking for 60. Okay. Go once to Bruce Mize. I will say final call. Final call. How come you don't do going to play? Final call is like going place. Okay, and then you do, oh yeah. And then that's it. And then it's over. And then then it's the over. party's over. What? Alrighty, alrighty. Boom. Look at our tins. Oh, what the heck is this tin? <laughs> I put pink. <laughs> we have some pink. All right, if there's no other interest, I'm going to sell these tins to Bruce Mize. $14. Sold, sold, sold to Bruce Mize. Thank you, Bruce Mize. Sure, Bruce, I'll invoice you. Yep. No problem, buddy. What's invoice? That means like I send them a bill for their whatever they buy, then they pay me through PayPal that way. Yeah. Bruce, where's my camera? Okay, Bruce, thank you very much, Bruce. Put you on the spinning wheel, buddy. Bruce, nice on the spinning wheel. Thanks, Bruce. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Fabulous helper. You want to do one more? Yeah. Um, what do you want to do? You want to do some DVDs? Okay. Or you want to do postcards? Um, no, we're not doing You're not doing these. Can I do the <laughs> No, I'm not doing the lighters. Do, okay. You can do the DVDs or the postcards. All right, tell me how many there are. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Although I think there's a few in the last one. So are we counting? I think there's a few. All right. That's all right. 
There's a couple of them are doubles or whatever. Yeah. Or I mean, there's more than one disc in there. That's all right. All right, line of 10 DVDs. You ready? Hey, you ready? Yeah. It was cool. It was cool. It was cool. Yeah, it's cool. I know. We're trying to sell it to people, other people who think it's cool. Okay. I'm going to do this one. Okay. We've got Monster House widescreen edition. Fabulous Helper. Have you ever seen this? No, but look, it spins. Oh, look at that. You can have different people in the front of the Monster House. That's pretty cool. Can you open it up and show us the uh, inside of there? Yeah. I was going to say, it probably slides out of there. And then there's the DVD. Yep. Yeah. No, it's called like a, like a cup, dust cover. Okay, so jacket. there's only one CD. Okay, right, there's only one in there. Okay, so that's Monster House. Just put it off all to the side. We'll get it later. It but make it not like so we can see it still right. in the camera. There you go. All right. What's this? What's this called? Have you ever seen this movie? Uh, Fabulous Helper. Have you ever seen this Beer Fest? Are you sure? Yes. It's unrated and it's the widescreen version. All right. Open it up, make sure it's in there. Technical there you go. Technical difficulties. There it is. Ta da! Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Next. All right, let's go. Not too slow here. Sorry. It's just DVDs. Bad News Bears with Billy Bob Thornton. You ever see that one? Oh, no. No. Cool. These are really clean, too. There's really no issue. The cases are really good shape. Somebody took good care of them. If you weren't here Sunday, I was telling you that, that where I got them, they had them all uh, alphabetized. Bench warmers, Rob Schneider, David Spade. I think they have to be in every movie together. If one's there, the other one's and there. Right? Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. All yeah. right. Bench warmers. What else we got? Daredevil, widescreen version. Yeah, I loved uh, I loved Bad News Bears the original. Who was that? Walter Matthau was the coach. Two discs, two discs for Daredevil. Okay. Can you guys see that, or should I? No, yeah, you can see. Go no, you're you're all right. Okay. Um, Daredevil. That's okay. Don't worry. That's all right. They could have still saw. Okay. And then... Die another day. 007, Pierce Brosnan. Brosnan. Brosnan? Two in this one. Oh boy. Two in that one. Old Pierce. He's a good looking guy, that Pierce Brosnan. Whoops. Jacob was at 14. And Craig Wolf at 16. Double Jeopardy, Tommy Lee Jones and Ashley Judd. Did you see that one? No. Okay. Good. All right. And we've got Dragonheart. I've seen you. You should. I should let you watch this one. This is a good one. Dragonheart. That's a good movie. If you've seen Dragonheart in the chat, let me know. Dragonheart. Here's your DVD. <laughs> <laughs> Deep Impact. Never saw it. Nope. Meteor hits the Earth. I think. No, it says oceans rise, cities fall, hopes arise. Yeah, because a meteor hit the Earth. I oh. Think. oh. <laughs> And Predators. Predators. Must be some kind of sequel to that. I know it's not Predator 2, so it must be maybe it's the third one. Yeah, move that. Yeah, and then you can move that other one. The sequels are garbage. I like Dragonheart. Yeah, I like Dragonheart too. All right, so there you go. Ten uh, DVDs. Very good condition. Uh, very clean covers and, and cases and whatnot. Yeah, I've, I like Double Jeopardy as well. We got Craig Wolf at $20, looking for $22. i am going to say going once. Yeah, I'll let you watch Dragonheart one night. You'll like it. But what if it's really No, we'll stream it from TV somewhere. Cool. Is that the one with, um, oh, yeah, Dennis Quaid? Is it Dennis Quaid, David Lewis, Lewis? Sean Connery, yes. Sean, Sean Connery. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Whoa. It's my mom. It's my monster drink getting crazy. All right. Craig Wolf is in a 20, and I hit going once. Jacob, if you're out, you let us know. Because I'm gonna say final call. Looking for 22, 2, 2 on this lot of DVDs. Uh, Deep Impact, Predators, Monster House, Beer Fest, Bad News Bears, Bench Warmers, Daredevil, Die Another Day, Double Jeopardy, and Dragonheart. You can see what box I got them out of. I told you they were in alphabetical order. They're all B's and D's in this lot. <laughs> all, every movie starts with a B or a D. That's funny. All right. Looking for 22. If there's no other interest, we're going to sell to Mr. Craig. Wolf, Jacob, thanks for letting me know. You are out. Sold, 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 sold to Craig Wolf for twenty dollars. Thank you, Craig Wolf. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Eighteen people in the chat. Hit the thumbs up button for me if you would. I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. All the auctions will be on this channel, so make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when the next auction is. And Craig, and Craig Wolf, I put your name in the spinning wheel. And it's time to say goodbye to Unnamed Helper because it is a school night. Okay. Although I think they're off like three days this week and two days next week. I don't know what's going on. Spring break, Easter break. They're half half the week. They're all at home anyway. I don't, I don't know what's going on. It's a whole thing. All right, say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye. Okay. All right. I'm fighting with your brother. Fabulous job. Help, fabulous job. Uh, or no, fabulous helper. Great job. I came and read. Thanks, Craig. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you. Fabulous Helper looks forward to the auction when she can help out. Like all day, she's very excited about it. She wants to show, she wants to be able to pick the items and show them. So, I like getting her involved too. So, it's really cool. All right. Do we want to do, let's do this ephemera lot. I got like a railroad, I got a railroad ephemera lot. See what we got here. I'm gonna start the bid at 14. What time is it? Nine o'clock. Okay. Yeah, she does. She definitely likes it. Summer. She gets very excited. And all right, let's go over here. Some Pennsylvania railroad stuff. All right. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna start with the. Here's the lot as a whole. No, I don't like this fuzzy light. Anyway. Here's the lot as a whole. It's all railroad stuff. I'm going to start with the bigger booklet first. This is a uh, modern locomotive. The Baldwin Locomotive Works in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, and I think it's it's like a brochure. I don't know, but it tells you all about the trains and their like cylinders and their weights and their capacity. Like there's Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. Baldwin, I guess maybe they made locomotives down there or I don't know. But it's like a fold out thing. It folds out like this. Pretty cool, I thought. All these different trains and redding and for the Alaska Railroad, 1932. I don't know what year this thing is from. I mean, it doesn't have a year on it, but it goes from, like, the earliest one here is this 1931 up in the corner. And then the latest one is, like, it's like folding up a map. I don't know how the heck I do it. Hold on. Yeah. Got to be your car. The latest one is 1937. So from 30 to 37 to the Southern Pacific. But you can see what it gives you like 
with dimensions and capacities, but there's pictures of every one of these trains. It's pretty cool. Modern locomotives. 1930 to 1937 trains inside here. Oh, here, there is a copyright up. Yeah, it's from 1937. Mm. Definitely has some age to it. I probably should look that one up. All right, and then uh, what else do we got here? I got a couple Pennsylvania Railroad items here. I got this <clears throat> Pennsylvania Railroad Book of Rules. Uh, edition of September 25th, 1949. There is somebody's name in the corner here. And there's a little wear up here. You can see it's kind of like rubbed loose a little bit. Rubbed a little bit there. A little discoloration. Operating signal and interlocking rules. Stuff like this is in there. I guess it's just rule operating rules for trains that they have to follow in here. And they come to a stop. And then on the back here it's got somewhere and you can see there's some holes in the top of this here. Some holes there. Yeah. Some wear on the sides and stuff. But hey, it's Pennsylvania Railroad, Book of Rules, nineteen what did I say, fifty one? Forty nine. Nineteen forty nine. We got that. I got another one, Pennsylvania Railroad Electrical Operating Instructions, September 28th, 1947. This one's in, I would say, much better shape. No holes in it, at least. Um, I don't know, just different. I guess lights to show up or signs, what they mean. Still how to extinguish fires, sleep, sleep instructions. The first indication of sleep shall be reported promptly to the superintendent who will issue a double pantograph order when the conditions warrant. Okay. This one's in good shape. Not very thick. Neither was the other one. But I'll double that. that one. We got those two items there. I got this uh, Bethlehem Steel Rail Railator Railator Railator. I don't know. Copyright 1944. We got some old stuff here. Copyright 1944. And it's dimensions and weights for dimensions and weights for heavy T sections. And it's like one of these sliders. So the things change in the middle depending on the section number that you're picking. So there's dimensions and weights. Let's see what in there. And on the back side is properties, heavy T rail properties, Bethlehem Steel though. Some good uh good ephemera there and you can see it's fine like that too. So nineteen forty four there. I got a railroading magazine for, no the railroading merit badge for the Boy Scouts of America. Got a little way. Top corner there, that corner. But I guess this tells you all you need to know to get your merit badge. The Boy Scouts. Let's see if there's a date. In here somewhere. 1972. 1972. But that was kind of cool. Some pen marks on the back and pencil marks. It's hard to see. You got that. And then this might be the coolest part of it all. This is album of Pennsylvania Railroad scenery. Now it has some condition issues, but it looks like one of these, like uh, you know, kind of like they're not postcards; they're just pictures. And I think they're supposed to be like all attached to each other. But one, this first page is like taped together right here. There's a piece of tape that runs holding those two together. Now the next couple are okay, but it's not connected at the end. Like there's a bunch of these in here, these pictures. Spruce Creek Tunnel. Hieroglyphic Rocks near Huntington, Lewiston Narrows. 
And now you see there's like a little tear there at the bottom. And then it's not. Okay. I don't know if it's supposed to be connected. I don't know if there's supposed to be more pictures in here. I really don't know. Like here, there's that one's a big old crease in it. It's Susquehanna Bridge, six miles west of Harrisburg, Chester Valley. So then it comes to the end. So I don't, maybe that is the end. Because everyone, but maybe it's supposed to be attached, but it doesn't look like it was attached and came loose. I don't know. So I'm not really sure. There's some condition for sure. There's a little smudge there. I didn't, I didn't try to mess with any of this, but it's a pretty cool, neat little Pennsylvania Railroad book. Scenery. So you got the scenery, Pennsylvania Railroad scenery, railroading merit badge from 1972. It's Bethlehem Steel Railroader. Copyright 1944. Two of these Pennsylvania Railroad um, books, Book of Rules from 1949, and Electrical Operating Instructions from oh, I don't know what this is. Yeah, 47, 49, and 47. And then this Modern Locomotives from Baldwin, 1937. So pretty cool, pretty neat uh, ephemera. Railroad train ephemera. All righty. Uh, no, Craig, I don't have any records tonight. Sorry. Bruce at 14. Mike Kretzer at 20. Ed at 22. Mike at 25. Ed's out. 27 to Bruce. All right. All right. All right. 27 to Bruce. Going once to Bruce Mize for 27. Ephemera lot. Railroad. Railroad. Ephemera. 14. 27. All right, going, going once. We'll do final call. Well, we still got a guy in there, Bruce. I don't think... Oh, no, Mike's out. Oh, you're right. Okay, so we'll do final call. Sorry, I didn't see it. Mike's out. Final call. Ed's out. Okay, it was just you two guys. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, I'll send it to uh, Summers and um, next time she buys a lot. Bruce Mines. And if there's no other interest, I will say sold, sold, sold to Bruce Mines for $27. Bruce Mines. Thank you, Bruce Mines. Thank you, Bruce. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Congratulations. I'll put your name on the spinning wheel again. Bruce Mines. Alrighty. Let's see. Oh, let's do a postcard lot. I got a cool, I got two cool postcard lots. Hold on, let me look at something quick. Let me check something. Let me look at something here. Such so a hand. Oh, it's not in there. Hang on. Looking for something. Yep, yep, I'll be right back. Look at these two postcard lots I got. We'll do one at money. We'll do one. Let me get Bruce's stuff out of here first. Bruce, Bruce just wants this one. We're going to send the rest of summer someday when summer buys another lot. We'll add that to it. I'll make a little note and send this to Bruce. Bruce bought, what else did Bruce buy? The tin. All right, we'll send you the tin there. Okay. All right. I think I got it. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, 
Okay. I got this little lot. It's a small little lot. I know people asked for some different postcards, and I was trying to get some stuff together today, but I was a little busy. Uh, but I got, I think I got a nice mix here. I got Hawaii, Alaska, California, I think I got Texas, two from Texas, and one Arizona one, I think. I'll put them together here. So there's 10 of these. Uh, yeah, there's a California one. I'm going to start it at, I don't know, I'm going to start it at eight bucks. Can I get postcards without? Well, this one has a double, so you might not want to bid on this one then. Uh, bid this. This is ten, but there's really eleven because one's a double. Um, postcard. I'm just gonna say postcard lot. Uh, I'm starting bid eight bucks. Eight bucks. All right. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, so let me show you here. I got this cool, look at this cool, this is Waikiki, Sunrise Rainbow at Waikiki. How nice is that? Photo by Larry, somebody. It is posted, 1982, Sunrise Rainbow at Waikiki. Aloha, it says. That's cool, I like that one. And then these two, I think these two are, yeah. Elikai, Eli, I can't say it. Elikai Hotel. I don't know. I got two of these, so there's still ten. I just I just added another one. Elikai Hotel in Hawaii. Not the video here. So we got those two. Those are my Hawaii. I thought I had one more. Oh yeah. Back here, this older black and white one. That's cool. That little corner smooth there. In this corner as well. That's pretty neat. Waikiki, I don't know, Kyo Beach, Beach Park site. This is from 1974. It was, it was posted. Pretty cool, I thought. It's U.S. Air Mail stamp on that one. So I got a couple Hawaii ones there. I think I got a couple, let's see. Is this? Oh, I got a couple California ones. Uh, yeah, this is San Francisco, California. It says Veterans Hospital Fort Miley overlooking the Golden Gate. And I don't see the Golden Gate Bridge in there. But it says San Francisco, California. Am I missing it? Yeah. It's like one of those linen ones. Unposted. Pretty cool. San Francisco, California. I got that one. I got this Clifton's Cafeteria. Don't that look good? Clifton's Cafeteria. Really good shape. Here's the phone. Ed, Ed, you got the phone. Ed97368. Open every day of the year, 11 to 8. This is in West Covina, California. West Covina. Maybe you know where that's at. And then I got this other one. Ocean Boulevard looking east. Long Beach. Long Beach. In the LBC. And it's posted. Or it's got writing on it. There's no stamp or anything. So I got three of those California ones. I know I got a couple Texas. Greetings from Shamrock, Texas. Shamrock. Now this one has some wear to it. You can see that corner there. Focus, focus, focus. It's got a little bit of a humpy <laughs> wampus creeps there. there you go. Shamrock, Texas, the Irish city. Never heard of it. We got that Texas one. I've got some uh, church, Catholic Church of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, 8th and Jeanette Streets in Abilene, Texas. There's a little place down there on the bottom down there. Uh, this is posted 19, 1955. Let me see. Yeah, 1955, Sacred Heart Church. What did I say? Abilene, Abilene, Texas. And then I've got two in Alaska. Greetings. I thought this one was cool because the edges are like scalloped. 
Greetings from the Alaska Highway. It's in good shape. Unposted. Wilderness route to the North Wing. Alaska Highway. Okay. And then I got one here that is New North Motel. You can see, look at that old bug, VW. Yeah. And that old. Oh, looks like it's maybe a Ford there, my foot. The New North Motel in Whitehorse, capital of the Yukon. Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven total, but these two obviously doubles. So, ten. I don't know. I'll find some more later. Abilene. Ed in an eight. Eight to Ed. Oh, looking for ten or more. Going. Summer's a 10. Looking for 12, 12, 12. A lot of 10 postcards. I've got the four on the left are Hawaii. The three in the middle are California. The two on the bottom right are Texas. And the two in the upper right are Alaska, I think. Ed's out. Thank you, Ed, for letting me know. All right, all right, all right. I will say final call to Summers for two two. You can add those um, other ephemera items to your, your postcards. So add these postcards to your ephemera items. Um, hang on a second. Summers. Okay, if there's no other interest, I'm going to sell it to Summers for $10. All right, instead of typing sold, I type Summers. Sold, sold, sold. Sold, sold, sold. Summers. 422. Thank you very much. Congratulations. I will add your name to the spinning wheel. Your mystery prize. Maybe Summers. Four, two, two. Six. All right, thank you, Summers. Appreciate it. No, you don't have to pay a little bit more. No, you're fine. I just sent it together. I mean, I just didn't want to send it to one. Like, if you guys pass it around to somebody, that's fine. But if something's going there, I'll ship it with it. But if something's not, you know what I mean? I'll just wait till you guys buy something else, right? Usually you do. Pretty quickly. Thank you very much. Like it just happened with Bear Flag. Bruce, I gave him a postcard. Bear Flag bought. What did you buy? Bear Flag tins last time on Sunday. And I shipped that birthday card that Bruce gave you last time with it. I can look. Why don't I just look? It's right here. I have this book right here that tells me exactly what you bought last time, Bear Flag. Tins, I think, right? Oh, does anyone know? Is Bluegrass Picker here? Somebody let me know if they see Bluegrass Picker. Because I need his address. Yeah, 10. ten. I shipped your happy birthday card from Bruce there. Okay. Um, Want to do some lighters? Let's do a vintage lighters. Yes, it was 10. Yep, got it. Vintage <coughs> lighters. I get nervous packing the stuff, man. I don't want. To, I, I want to pack like I pack, like I would want it. Oh, okay. If anyone sees uh, bluegrass picker, let them know. Like you don't have to tell them to come to the auction tonight, but just tell them to contact me because he paid. Oh, 
Well, no, 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 no. And don't put his address in the thing there. Don't put his address in the thing. Mike, send it to me. Oh, my God. Let me take that out of there. Okay. Um, what am I doing? Vintage lighters. Holy mackerel. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. But I don't want someone's information in the in the chat. Jeez, now I got it up on the thing. Holy mackerel. What's going on? All right, let me let me pull off this. Uh, let me pull this. Oh, it's on his page? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Did you get all your ashtrays already? Ed? No way you got all your ashtrays already. Wow. For real, Ed? Summer, hold on, I gotta make sure I got this right. Summer, got the postcards, and that. Okay. And then we have, okay. So there's three lighters and an accessory thing, which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, well, Summer, Ed's next to me. Ed's not too far from me in Pennsylvania. Yeah, I sent him Monday, UPS. I like using UPS better, especially for breakable things or heavy things like that, because I just feel like they treat it better. So good. I'm glad it got to you. Oh, man, I can rest easy. I thought I was going to have to wait like four days for you to get three days, whatever. Vintage, lighter, lot. I'm going to start the bid. Yeah, I know. I know you're not that far, but goodness. I, look, use the post office. I try to send stuff to like Joe, Philly Picker. It takes it takes a week at least. Some, well, how about the other package you had? Uh, and I think the first package you bought from me, remember you were like, hey, I never got my package. And we had to track it down and there was a delay in Harrisburg here or something. Remember? I know you're not that far, but if I use the post office, it takes a lot longer. But I mean, I can't use post office. I can't use UPS for first class items. It would just, it wouldn't make sense. <laughs> um, yeah, you can bid on lighters. Hold on a second. Starting bid. Starting bid. Uh, I don't know. Let's start at 12 bucks. I don't know. They've got some cool ones in here. I got, a, uh, I got the Paul Mall cigarette one. All right. Vintage Light a Lot. Starting bid, 12 bucks. Hang on a second. Lighters. 12 bucks. Okay. All right. Here's the lot. As it sits, very cool lot. This thing on the bottom is an accessory. So I'll just I'll just show you up close a little bit. Get a little closer. Don't be shy. There's the lot. Okay. So first up, I didn't realize that I would have sold this with that other lot. So I had this box and there was lighters, and then we sold the Paul Mall one before. No, we sold the, I don't know what it was before, Sunday. It had a green label on it. And this this lighter was sitting at the bottom like this. I didn't really even know it was a lighter. And then I turned this over today after I saw the other ones, and I was like, oh, we'll sold those together. This is Paul Mall, famous cigarettes. Um, looks like it needs a flint. I don't see a spark. Oh, maybe there was one. What's probably going on at that? Probably just flint. This is continental Japan on the bottom. Continental Japan, Paul Mall lighter. It's kind of like a little. I don't know what that is up there? I didn't try to clean it off, but a little some marking. I don't know. Maybe it's lipstick. I don't know what it is, but it's in good shape. It needs a flint and some lighter fluid, obviously. And then I've got this little cool. I thought this was like the coolest thing. Uh, I thought this was a keychain at first because it was just sticking out of the thing. It is a keychain, I guess. I didn't realize there was a lighter on it. Whatever. It's California. Look, Bear Flag. It's the Bear Flag logo. Right? Isn't that the, isn't that the flag? Focus. California. And this is made, this says Japan on the bottom too. And I'll never see it, I'm sure. Oh, there you go. Japan. And I don't know, guys. I mean, you tell me, this thing looks like it was never used. I mean, that wick is too, or maybe it was used and they replaced the wick. Maybe that's what happened. 
the wick looks really good, but it definitely needs a flint because it just spins and there's no flint. But I don't know how to replace it. I don't know how to add fluid. Maybe it's just novelty. Because there's nothing in the bottom to add. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's like an old Zippo. Hang on a second. Maybe it pulls out. Aha! You're right. It's like a Zippo. Cool. And then you take this little thing off and you fix it in there. Alright, cool. Alright, man, it's in good shape. I don't know if it was ever really used, to tell you the truth. But it looks like it needs a flint. In my in my professional lighter opinion. Whatever that's way. There we go. We got the Palm Oil, we got the California. This is another one of those Ronson. This is the Whirlwind. Let's see if you can see it here. Ronson. Whirl. It says Whirlwind. Right. Right in here. There you go. Whirlwind. Another good one, uh, but it does have a, a monogram on it. Initial C G R. So, Craig Wolf, maybe you change your last name or have a nickname. Uh, there's a scratch there. Oh, here's the other thing there's a screw for this. And then on this side, there's no screw. Just to let you know. I don't know if there's a screw supposed to be there or not. I would think there would be. Or something there. But there's nothing there. And again, this one needs a light, uh, a, um, a flint as well. And some fluid. But still, these Ronsons are good. And then I thought this was cool. This is a Ronson um, accessories. Um, it says Ronson red skin on it. Which obviously, but it's like a lighter shape, red skin, accessories, best for all lighters. Check out. It's like complete inside here. See the watch. There's a wick. And I'm assuming you can trim that. Oh, there you go. There's a wick and five flints. So you'll have some flints ready to go. And then like a little brush to like clean everything out. How cool is that? It's complete. I never saw a nice little kit like this before. It's awesome. Ronson, and I saw a red skin. Ronson red skin. I was like, oh boy. On the back here it says plastic kit. Ronson plastic kit. Five extra length red skin flints, wick, and inserter brush. Container and contents are made in the USA. It would help if I showed you guys that. It's a little hard to see on the back of that, but Ronson plastic kit. So you get all that together. And that's it. I don't have any more lighters. I'm out. Pretty cool, huh? Fourteen. I don't think I have any more eight millimeters. Sixteen to add. Probably illegal in California now, right? Yeah. Uh, Eighteen to Mike Kretzer. Twenty to Bruce. Vintage Memories at twenty-two. Bruce Mize at twenty-four. Mike Kretzer's out. Vintage Memories is out. Thank you for letting me know. So I guess Bruce would be. The only one, right? Mike's out. Okay. Uh, go once. Yeah, I thought these were cool. Mm -hmm. uh, looking for 26 or more. And I'm going to say final call, final call, final call. Paul Mall. A small little mini California one that looks, I mean, it looks as new as you can get. I mean, maybe it wasn't, maybe it's used, but it looks pretty good. A Ronson Whirlwind and then a Ronson Plastic Kit. Oh, Batman Loves Bass Fishing comes in at the end. 26 looking for $28 or more. Pretty neat lot.
Pretty neat. 28 to Bruce. Looking for 30 or more. I probably should have looked them up. I bet you that Paul Mall one. What was the other one? Was the other one a... It was a green kind. I forget the green. Cool? Was it cool? No, I don't know what it was. 30 to Batman. Looking for 32. Two, two dollars. 32 to Bruce. Mike Kretzer's going to get coffee. Looking for 34, 4, 4 or more. Batman's out. Okay. 34. No, I'm sorry. 32 to Bruce Mines. If there's no other interest, I'm going to sell it to Bruce Mines. It's getting coffee. I'm going to sell this lot. Sold, sold, sold. Bruce Mines. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A little bit of a lag there. Okay, Bruce Mines. We'll put your name into the spinning wheel. Again, Bruce Mines. Thank you. Congratulations. Cool lot. All right. What time is it? 9.34. You guys want to do some ashtrays? <laughs> you guys want to bid up some ashtrays? Seven. Ashtray. Lot number seven. Ashtray. Um, yeah, flipping sports guy. Paul. Please send the Paul Mall lighter to Mike. Mike Kretzer. My Kretzer, I will do. Yeah, what do you think, Paul? Make sure you um, subscribe to this one, to this channel as well. All right, lot. I'm going to start with a lot of five, right? A lot of five ashtrays. Uh, I'm just going to say ashtray lot. And if we get to... We started at 12 bucks, right? You know what I did last time? I've asked for 12 bucks. Starting bid. If we get to 18, I'll add another one. And so on and so on from there. Got to turn this screen here. Yeah, that's very nice of you, Bruce. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we'll take the palm all. Let me get over here. We'll take the palm mall and what did Mike want? He wanted something, the pencil sharpener. Okay, cool. Mike, you put that with the pencil sharpener. And Bruce, we'll put the rest of these with your other item. Right, Bruce? That's Bruce one. The Bruce thing before that. Bruce one that's in that. Okay. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Cool glass one, a couple of cool porcelain ones. All right, a lot of five. Twelve dollars starting bid. Start at the bottom here. We got Toronto, Canada. Oh, Canada City Hall. Pretty cool. Made in Japan. Toronto, Canada ashtray. Made in Japan. Pretty cool. We got Kippies. Pier 52, Holiday Inn, Hollywood Beach, Florida. You can have a party with all the things that you have putting on there. A little dusty, but no chips or crap. Oh, I lied. Well, I think it's just, you think that's just crazy in there? Can you see that in the camera? It doesn't show up on this. Uh, it does. All right, I'm going to take this one out. I'll add a fifth one here. Hang on a second. I didn't realize I had a little. I had a little crack on it. Oh, I need my paper. Here you go. Jeb's Seafood House. Open all night. 50 years of business. Birmingham, finest restaurant. Where's Sam for McKim? Look at this phone. 7943. That's the phone number. Okay. North uh, 26th Street. Famous for seafood. That's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> And then we've got Strafford's, S-C-R-A-F-F-O-R-D-S, 
Motel Restaurant Cocktail Lounge, Hometown, Pennsylvania. I never heard of Hometown, Pennsylvania. Hometown? No, no, hometown, Pennsylvania. Scrappers. That little spot on the back, it looks like. I'll wait. I'll get it off. There we go. Boom. Good to go. Well, I'll wait. We got that one. And check this guy out. Golden Nugget Gambling Hall. It's like a nice amber color. Downtown Las Vegas. Well, let me find a fifth one. I'll, I'll grab a fifth one here. Very cool. Very cool. All right, all right. And let me find another one here. Yeah. This is like a yellow. Oh, this is more in the Palace. I don't even think of that. Palace Diner and Restaurant, West Berlin, New Jersey. Very cool, huh? Put that in there. Five. Boom. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, I'll, I'll take a seat then. We don't have any. Oh, Ed's in at 12. Okay. Ed at 12. Looking for 14, 14, 14, 14. Sometimes the chat just jumps on me and I, I miss it. Or it just comes all at once there. And I have to like be like, whoa. West Berlin, New Jersey, though, Bruce. Right? I'm sorry, Ber was it West Berlin, New Jersey? Berlin, New Jersey, wasn't it? Yeah, West Berlin, New Jersey. All right. Scared to bid. Why are you scared to bid? Bruce Byers scared to bid. Do the house lot. Next. All right. I'm going to say going once. That's going to get another 12 ashtrays. I mean, another 12 ashtrays. Another five ashtrays for 12 bucks. <laughs> Tip for listing casino ashtrays. Keyword mafia. Oh, New Jersey's cool. Okay. Going once. Five ashtrays, 12 bucks. Ed is the lone uh, bidder. So, looks like he's going to get them. There is a European American tour. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Bruce at 14. No, he, I thought he was scared. I thought he was afraid to bid. 14 to Bruce. Looking for 16 or more. We get to 18, I'll add another one. I got a whole stack of them over there. Ready to go. Bruce said, don't call me out. <laughs> I thought you were out, Bruce. I didn't think you were going to bid at all. That's all I'm saying. 16 to add. Looking for 18. I'll add another one. Let me go get it. I'll show you. I'll give you a little preview. Uh, let's see what we got. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Oh, I left my paper over there. It's kind of like a gray ashtray. It says in flight, in flights, restaurant, cocktails, in flight, I N I N N flight. I don't know if we get the 18. Oh, we got the 18. Okay, so that's in there. So now we got six ashtrays. Let's start the. We'll start off right, set, setting out there. 18, we get to uh, 18. Yep, sure, Summers. I got your message. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, we get to, what is it, 24? No, 20. Yeah, 24. 24? 22. 23. But we can't get to 23, can we? We get to 23 somehow, $5 more. We get to 23 or more, I'll add another one. Let me show you the next one. I'll add the next one. This is a good one. Okay. Let me 
check this one out. Arizona, California, Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Nevada, Ramada, and roadside hotels. We get to 23. I'll add that in there. 22? Twenty-two is my deal. All right, twenty-two. We'll add it in that for you, Bruce. Twenty-two. That's a pretty cool one. That's all right, Summers. Whatever you want to do, Summers, is fine. Either way, it's fine. Whatever you want, Summers. Whatever's easy. I'm good with whatever. Uh, 27, we'll get another one. 27, we'll get another ashtray. Bruce is out. Summers is at 24. Seven, we'll add this. Uh, I don't know what this is. Gaslight Village, Lake George, New York. Oh, it's got a cool. Uh, it looks like a cop riding a bike with somebody on the back with a bunch of balloons. Like an old time police outfit. I don't know. Good shape. No issues. Got this little gold rim around it. All right. You get the 27, I'll add it. If not, no big deal. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, that message was to mice. I don't know. I thought you were talking to me. All right. Uh, did I do going once? I think I did go once. Though. I did go once. All right. I'm going to say going once again because we had some interest. But I don't know. Is everyone out? Wait a second. Hold on here. Who was it against? Ed. Bruce is out. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Ed said, I'll be listed him for a week. Cool. 24. Go once. We get the 27. I'll add another one. Summers is in the lead. Right now, we've got seven ashtrays for $24. We get to 27, and it'll be eight ashtrays. But if not, I will say final call. Summers, 422 at 24. Mike Kretzer, I'm letting Mike send you. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we got some good, we got some great people. We have the best people in the chat here. My auctions, we have the best people. We're very nice to each other. Everybody helps each other out. And I will say, sold, sold, sold to Summers 422. Where did it go? There it is. <clears throat> Thank you, Summers 422. Thank you, Summers. Appreciate you. 24. For summers, <clears throat> I will put your name on the spinning wheel. Summers, four two two. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Some cool ones in there. That golden nugget in Las Vegas should be should uh, do well for you. Uh, and some of the other ones, I don't know. Some of the restaurant ones, I've sold older, you know, restaurant ones before. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Summers, okay. And what do I have left? What time is it? 9.47. All right, we're doing good. We got it. Okay, house lot. I got a house lot. Um, thank you, thank you. Thank you. And we got a house lot. House lot. And starting bid. I don't know. There's a lot of cool stuff in this thing, too. Starting bid. Um... I don't know, I'm going to say 14. So we've got a little weight to it, this one. 14. Let me get Summers' ashtray off the table. Summers. Put 
I got plenty more. Probably do another ashtray lot on Sunday night with Johnny. If you guys are interested. Someone. Okay. House lot. Look at all this cool stuff in there. I don't really know what's, I don't know what's going on anyway. All types of cool stuff. Here's the whole lot in general. And uh, I'll walk I'll walk through it. Look at here. Oh, I got this little snowman figure. Snowman, good shape. Um, wood, I guess. Oh, That's how it was made in China in the back, I think. I got a little crazy dreidel. Wooden dreidel. Let's see if I can do it. Can I do it? Look at that. Oh, you guys see it? You can't even see it. I got to do it over here. Yeah, dreidel. Look at this thing. I got this bear, Animal Alley. I thought it was a um, build a bear or not Beanie Baby, but it's from Toys R Us with the tag. Hug, Hugbert, Hubert, Hugbert, 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 Hugbert. Oh. You could be on. Oh, 2001. Oh, it's a McDonald's, but it says McDonald's. It says Toys R Us on this side. No. Oh. Oh. I got that. I got, look at this thing. I, I didn't, I don't know what these are. Next time you try Fryer and Offer, Perfect Bread. Next time you buy, try Fryer Hoffer's Perfect Bread. But these are, it says lipstick tissues for your handbag. There's like a packet of them in there. I didn't open it. I thought it was matches at first. It kind of looks like a match book. But it says lipstick tissues. Fire hop. I never even heard of that. It's some cool advertising. And then I guess there's another one. I guess this is a different thing. Um, here you go. Be a fuller cosmetic dealer. I guess this is like, you know, you were selling like Mary Kay or something. Cosmetics back in the day. Need extra money. Business is good. The Fuller Brush Company, Hartford, Connecticut. And I'm assuming that's what's in there as well. I didn't open it. But. Because it doesn't say lipstick tissue, but it looks like it'd be the same thing, right? See what it is? And then I got um, Webster Chicago uh, record adapter. It says 10 RS-46, 45, uh, 45 RPM. Play, uh, play your 45 RPM records. And I think just the box advertising is pretty cool. Um, and I didn't count to see if there's 10 in here, actually. I've only ever seen these um, in plastic, so I thought these were pretty cool. That they're, no. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's kind of Pretty cool, huh? So we got that. And I don't know, this older I, I guess it's a, it's just a hole punch, but it's like a it's a star. You're not gonna be able to see it probably, but in there is a star. There you can kind of see the points in there. But I, I'm guessing it's just a hole punch, but there's no name on it or anything. Not that I saw. No brand. But I thought it was cool because it's a star inside, not just a circle. Oh, I can get my table in there. Let's do that. I want to do that. Let's do it. There you go. So, check it out. <coughs> Um, I got look for the auction channel. I got like a little gavel. I think there is mm. it writing on it or not. Pretty cool. Yeah, let me see something here. Hang on a second. I think that there's writing on it, but just from the side there. Let me look at it. Let's take it. Let me look it up. Oh, just a little 
got some weight to it. There's that. I don't know what this thing is. Some kind of pick of some kind. Anyone know what this is? There's no markings on it. It's like a stabby factor of like six. That helps you. I don't know what that is. I got a number of these blades. Check out these old blades. And they're sealed too. Wheel cut Sheffield Manufacturing Corp. Um, Double-edged blades. These stuff like razors, right? Well cut. Or seal there in plastic. That one. That two. Well cut. Got three of them. All sealed. Well cut. And then I got two of these. Uh, I think they're going to. Yeah. Two of these derby blue. Oh, this one's come loose a little bit. Okay. You can see it was sealed. Derby Blade Company, New York. Derby Blue Steel. Uh -huh. The finest Swedish steel, easy for you to say. Two of those. Derby Blue Tempered. This one is totally sealed. And then uh, I got a cool Star Wars sticker, Darth Vader. You put it on your car. Yeah, still sealed. I've got a little doggy. I don't know what I don't know what this could possibly be. That's something written inside there. Mm. Little like hound dog. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Right on the same. What's the saying? This is something product. I can buy product. I don't know. Something like that. And then I've got a fishing license. Or no, is this a fishing? Walking on waves. Walking on the waves. Logan Sykes, grade three. Avalon, New Jersey. Oh, and I have no idea what this is doing. Really. Fishing license or swimming? Swimming? Maybe it's a swim pass. In Jersey, if you're not familiar, they make you um, they make you pay to get on the beach. Beach pass? Maybe it's a beach pass, swim pass. I don't know. And then I got this calendar from January of or from 1943. It's all there. It's written on it. Uh, Pastor, I don't know, something, something. Lockhart, Pastor, something, William J. Lockhart. But look, it's got like a military guy on there. 1943 calendar. That was cool. Maybe I'll throw it in an ashtray for you if you want. <laughs> I'll throw it in a DC ashtray. Venture Highway. I got that song in my head. Cat D's here. What's up, Cat D? I don't know what it is. Okay, 14 a bear flag. Sing the dreidel. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I made you out of clay. A dreidel, 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 with you I will play. Hey, 16 to Cat D, 18 to Bear Flag, Bruce a 20. Bruce, what's cool? Bruce said cool, what's cool? 20, 22 to Bruce, I'm sorry, 22 to Bear Flag. More rock candy hammer. No, it was like a, it was like a, uh, well, maybe it is, but it's a, it's a gavel. Pickle poker, earwigs pack. <laughs> Let me look. Oh. Real or repos, what? 26 to Bruce. Beach pass. Okay, there's a beach pass. Got it. Beach pass. Oh, singing in Hebrew? No, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a Catholic boy. I don't know. I don't know the Hebrew language. I barely know the English language. 26 to Bruce. <laughs> Going once. And I definitely don't know how to count. You want me to sing stuff in Hebrew? Nine fifty-seven. Nine fifty-seven. Cat D. Hello. Real repos. Real repos. Oh, are the razors? Oh, I don't know. 
I don't know. They're sealed. I don't know. I, I don't know. How would you know? How how would they know? Somebody would re reproduce this? I mean, look at the old look at the old cake coming off of that. I mean, see where the uh, you guys can't see like where the cut like where the cut is. Oh, it's fine. Like where you cut the tape off to roll. Like, do you think somebody really really did that like that? Maybe I don't know. Kind of show you here, like hard to see. But it looks like it's got age to it. I don't know. I don't know how old are they. They're just razor blades, right? I mean, for your razor, yeah. But I mean, it can't be that old, right? I don't, I don't know. I gotta look it up, Bruce. I don't know what they are. I mean, I know they're razor blades, but I don't know if they're real or not. They're real razor blades in there. <laughs> Let me open one up. New ones must put dates on them. Okay. Well, I don't see. Let's see. I mean, I didn't look. I didn't. The Sheffield Manufacturing Court, made in Newark, New Jersey, USA. This site says packed by merit and reputation. It says five blades. It says the finest charcoal steel. And low cut. I mean, I don't see. I don't see a date either way. I don't see an old date. I don't see a new date. I want to just be careful because. I think both of these are open. Derby. I mean, not open, but they're on the wrapping is coming off a little bit. Finest steel. I mean, I don't want you, I don't want to represent it as old if it's, or whatever, if it's not old. I don't know what that says. Unconditionally guaranteed. I don't see a date. I don't see a date anywhere. I don't know. If they're not, you let me know, Bruce. We'll figure it out. The razors are from the 20s. What? How can they be from the... I don't think they're from the 20s. Could they? I don't know. Did I do going once on this thing? I have no idea. All right, final call. Final call. Bruce, if, if you have an issue, you let me know. I'll have to look them up. It was all in a box, basically like that. Pretty much the Star Wars thing I had in a different box I added, and the um, the hole punch, the star. But the rest of it was pretty much in that box over there. All right, all right. You still use a razor like that? Yeah, me too. <laughs> all right, fire call, Bruce Mice, twenty six, looking for twenty eight. If no other interest, so go 28, 20, what did I say? 26, 26, Bruce, my, thank you, Bruce, my, thank you, thank you, thank you, appreciate you, put your name on the spinning wheel, did I get some, Bruce, again, all right, let me do one buy it lot, buy it lot, let me do one lot, Buy it now. Hang on. Let me get let me get over here. Let me put these away. Bruce, let me know. I mean if there's you know, anyone else, let me know. Let me try to represent it. I buy stuff at the live auction and I put it in here and I start it low. I don't know. I hope it sells for more than what I started out at. That's about it. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I mean, if there's something I know, that's definitely, like, if it has the copyright on it, I'll let you know. Thanks, Bruce. Appreciate you. Um, all right, I got... I got it. 
Bye now. Where do I have the um, two, three, four, five. I think there's twenty. Bye now. Twenty. These are um, like overseas, outside of the USA postcards. Like there's a Dutch one. I'm assuming Canada. Buy now, no bids. First one in at ten bucks. There's twenty of them. Canada. I don't know what this is. Is the kids like fight each other or something? Or Algier, Algar. I don't know. All Saints Church. Looks like France. Canada. Canada. Munchen, so what's that, Germany? Berlin, look at this old Berlin one. Berlin, look at this old castle. I don't know, there's old ski, ski slope thing, some room somewhere, Rome. We got a tenner? Ten, Ed, okay, Ed's a ten, so you got it. Ten, Ed, I got another lot. You want another lot? Ten bucks, buy it now. Same thing. Twenty of them. If not, if Ed doesn't want them, we can let somebody else have them. There's uh if Ed says no, then the rest whoever's next up says they can have it. I don't know. There's all different. It's like I wanna say Spanish. I think that's a Spanish word, right? What did I know? This is, I don't know, some place somewhere. I can't read. It's all in different languages. I don't know. Hamburg, Germany. Hamburg. Oh, here's a nice one. How? Alberta, Canada. Canada is the only one I can tell because it's in, it's in English. <laughs> oh, look at that guy. El Shorty. Shabrero. Shabrero. Ed wants that one too. Got it. Okay. And then Ed, I'll throw in a couple extra for you there. Thank you, Ed. $20. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. I'll put Ed on there twice for the two lots at the end. Thank you, Ed. It ends up being like 43 or 44. Uh, I had a few extra that didn't quite make a um, lot. So, and I have plenty. So I just. I went through one box pretty quickly. I have a bunch of New Jersey ones. If anyone wants New Jersey, I'll make you a hell of a deal. Not Steel Pier. I didn't see any Steel Pier ones. Ed, I know you're looking for Steel Pier ones, so that's why I was looking for New Jersey. Nine postcards. All right, stick around for one second here. Ed. Thanks, Ed. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, some of them are pictures. Yeah. Some of our pictures. I'm just trying to get. I have a bunch more. I'll find some more international ones. If anyone wants New Jersey, I will. Um, I know Idaho. I know. I didn't. I didn't find any World War Two, World War One, or World War Two yet. But I'm looking. I'm looking for California, Texas, Arizona. International ones. Steel Pier for Ed. Military. Idaho. I know Mike Kretzer. Who's going to visit Idaho and and put a postcard back to somebody? Where do you go in Idaho to visit? Not going to ask for Mississippi? All right. Okay. Thanks to everyone who stopped by. I really appreciate it on the new channel the first night. Hey, worked out well. If you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you are and hit the notification bell so you know uh, when I'll have my next auctions. Uh, Sunday night, we'll be here with Johnny. Raver, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern. And uh, I'll have a few videos out between now and then on the other channel. So thanks for stopping by. All right, Ed, let me, Ed, I'll put a, I'll put a big lot together and let you know what I have. And I'll, I'll shoot you an email. New Jersey. I mean, I have a stack already. I'll just let you know. New Jersey. Email. Gotcha. All right, stick around. If you bought something, I will... Do the spinning wheel now if I can find the share button. Here it is. Share screen. 
If you're leaving, hit the thumbs up on your way out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you being here. All right. Let's shuffle up these names a little bit because we got Bruce in there a couple times. We got Ed in there a couple times. I don't like having them like right next to each other. You know what I mean? Summers is in there a couple times. Maybe we can't help it. All right. That looks good. All right. Oh, look at that. See what happens when you do nice things? Nice things happen to you. Bruce Mice, Bruce Mice. I know you're here, Bruce. Rigged Dennis Do is here. Bruce, can you type something in the chat for me? I know you're here. Bruce, my double rig spin wheel. Okay, Bruce is the winner. Bruce, my. All right, listen. Thanks to everyone who stopped by. Thanks to everyone who purchased something. Really appreciate it. If you paid tonight, it'll ship out tomorrow. Bruce is not here. Okay, cool, Bruce. Thank you, thank you. And go over and check out. Um, Callie Reseller Louis. Somebody drop Callie's uh, auction link here before we go. Tell him I said hi. Uh, he always has great stuff. Him and Louie. I'm sure he's doing it with Louie again tonight. And um, I will catch you guys later. Somebody drop the link maybe quickly before we go so that you guys can catch it before I turn off the uh, stream. If you would, please. Let me get rid of this thing. I want to go in here. We should go big here. There we go. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. See y'all after Easter. Okay. Yeah, John and I'll be here Easter night, Easter Sunday night. And I might be wearing a special outfit. You never know. I don't know. I'm gonna try to find a a funny uh, outfit to wear, hopefully, for Sunday. All right, guys, thanks again. I will talk to you guys later.